Yo, what's poppin' folks? Welcome to another video. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this one. If you guys are new to the channel, smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell right next to it, and also smash that thumbs up if you guys wanna see some more kicking the bass videos. So today, we got a cool little neat video. I'm actually gonna go out fishing. It's gonna be raining the next couple of days, so I was like, I'm gonna go out for a few hours and try to catch some big fall bass. I'm gonna be going over one of my favorite fall fishing baits as well showing you guys different techniques to work it to catch bigger fish during the fall or year round you can take all these and apply it pretty much anywhere everywhere and year round but we're gonna be going out fishing so let's go ahead and hop into this video thank you guys so much for the support let's get it. i do want to show you guys something before we hop into this video let me pull this out real quick right here guys we have the super six box by six cents hands down the best subscription box on the market I mean, it doesn't even compare, guys. It has all premium baits inside. No crab, no China stuff. Just straight up all premium products. Um, <laughs> it's all, you know, quality, guys. It's not any bull crap in here. As you guys can tell, I mean, look at look at the assortment of stuff right here that I have. Literally all just premium products. If you guys want to check this out, I did want to show you guys this because people have been asking about it. I'll drop my code on the screen. You can get a discount. And I promise you... Like I, like I said, if you're with another subscription box right now, I'd really consider looking into this one because the products that come in this box, like I said, they're all high quality, all premium products, fancy hooks, sharp hooks, hook myself in the finger, um, premium paint jobs, premium baits that will last a long time. So if you guys want to check out the Super 6 box by 6 cents, I'll leave the link below and my code on the screen. So we actually got about two hours before it's gonna start raining. The only reason I really wanted to come out is because the next couple of days, it seems like it's possibly gonna rain. With that being said, usually right before, you know, a big storm, the pressure's dropping. And I did check and it looks like it's dropping. So we might get lucky and get some bass that wanna feed, but the only problem is not last, last night, or it might've been last night. I think it was last night, it was a full moon. So that is my only concern about this right now. It's like, it could be a little tough, but then again, you know, usually around that 11 o'clock to two o'clock after a full moon is usually the best time. It's 10 o'clock right now. So hopefully, you know, these fish end up firing up you know schooling on some bait fish and we'll end up being able to catch them and i'm going to show you guys everything that i'm throwing today and hopefully we'll just catch a slob so let me tell you gotta love to start it like that don't you so my first backlash and i Probably couldn't tell you how long. Probably four or five months. Two hours later. This is ridiculous. I've been doing this for probably 10 minutes just because I hit that bush. Literally. <laughs> that was my first cast. This, this is exactly how today went. I was about to say how good the conditions look with this wind whipping in this corner. I was like, oh, this just looks so good. Oh my God, did I get it out? Yes, I did. Oh, oh. I thought I thought I just really messed up. I was like, are you kidding me? I haven't even got to make a cast yet. <laughs> and I just pulled it all the way down. All right, there we go. So what I was saying, there's a lot of wind. You guys aren't gonna be able to tell. Every time I say there's a lot of wind and you guys comment, no, there's no wind. But what you guys don't understand is I have a mic on my GoPro. And not only that, a lot of the places, the wind's not caking all the way down to the pond water. It's hitting the trees behind me. We got a bunch of wind whipping in this corner. Pressure's dropping because of that front coming in. And we should be able to get some bites. The only thing that's gonna hold us back is if that full moon really messed them up. That, that is really the only thing that can make these fish just not chomp right now. But you know what? We're just gonna start casting. This is our first official cast and see if we can catch any on it. So for you guys that are curious, this is actually the Quake by Six Cents. As you guys can tell, got a regular shad pattern right there. During the fall, this is very important. You know, you need to match the hatch as true as possible. As you guys can tell, it's got some blue on top, chartreuse stripe down the middle, and it's got like a white belly with a little bit of chrome in there. And uh, this color is definitely one of my favorites that Six Sense makes. And, you know, I've caught a lot of fish on it. You guys know I was throwing the snatch. Um, this is the Quake, it's slightly different. It's got really loud rattles in it, and it puts off a different vibration in the water. I just started testing it out. I tested it out last episode, and I fell in love with it. You know, I caught a couple. Yep. Yep. 
Okay, that's all we need to say about that bait. If you guys want to check it out, 10% off down below. <laughs> yeah, it's the same thing happened. The two, so the place I went in the last episode was a super tough place to get bites. And this place is the same way. Super tough to get bites, but you usually catch quality. This is a small one, but let me tell you, both times I got out here with the quake and it was just instant, instant fish catch. Both times on two tough places where it's usually hard to get bites. That is insane. That is a little tiny fat guy. He just creamed me right at the bank, but we're gonna be chucking that guy around. Like I said, discount the code down below. I'll pop it up on the screen if you guys are curious. But uh, yeah, I've <laughs> this is only my second day out with it. And needless to say, I'm very impressed. So let me talk about pretty much why that fish just ate it right there. So if I'm, if I'm assuming anything, I threw out there in the middle and he was following it in. A fish was tailing this bait. He didn't know if he was gonna commit and he was just following it right up to the bank. Once I got this trap, holy mother of pearl, I got a fray right there. I just retied this too. Yeah, we need to fix that. But right when I got this trap, right next to the bank, the fish committed. So what that's, do, what that's saying right there, so when we throw it out and usually when this fish follows it in, what they're doing is once you get this bait by the bank, I'm sorry, I'm afraid, but I gotta do it. Oh my God, please don't, please don't uh, do nothing stupid here. Holy cow, that was big fish splash. <laughs> That's exactly why I like this wing coming back in here. Holy cow. Uh. All right, I gotta retie, don't be stupid, no, don't be stupid. Last thing I want is to break this off. But what I was saying is once that fish pinned up the bait right here on the bank, the bait couldn't go anywhere. He was swimming towards the bank. So it's a perfect little spot for the fish to commit to the bait because the bait's not in the open water to where he can turn and go wherever. He's right here in the corner. So he cornered him and he ate it. Yeah, that would have honestly been horrible if I threw in after that fish schooled and just broke it straight off when I knew I shouldn't have done it. That would have been my biggest regret. I was about to say I'm about to get hit. I got him. This is insane. I knew the conditions, this wind, he ain't big. He ain't bad, he bigger than the last one. He choked deep, <laughs> he choked it too, look at that. I was about to say I'm about to get hit. Oh, you a little fatty. About a pound and a half, look at that. Look how he ate that sucker, this quake, man. I love the snatch. I can't, I can't tell if I like the snatch more or the quake more, because they both been getting it done. Look how he ate that. <laughs> Look at that, all the way in his mouth. And that's a, he ain't a big guy, he's a pound and a half with his thick body. Holy cow. And we did bring our scale today. We do have to weigh some, but man, I'm liking this so far. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pound and a half guy. All right, baby. That's that's what we do here on Kicking the Best TV right there. We start off small like that, and then we start searching for them bigger ones. But honestly, if they gonna bite that good, that's crazy. This place is tough to fish. I'm telling you, if you catch a few while you come here, you're doing good and we we got a good start so i think they're going to be loaded over here watch i'm probably gonna catch one another cast watch this there he is he ate it on the fall uh i can't tell he's running at me look at him i'm just coasting him in i can't tell he's big or not now oh no he's not that was so weird he felt so big when I was pulling him up. Oh, that is a fatty though. That's a two pounder and a one pound body. Holy smokes. Dude, he hammered that on the fall. Look at that freaking football. Oh my gosh. That is a bug eyed football right there. That's a two pounder and a one pound body. Look at that fish. That's like when you catch like an eight pounder and he's just like, <laughs> he's just like a, just a straight football except that's just a small football. What the heck? That's so cool. Look at his lips right there. Pretty guy. He ate it on the fall. It's been a minute. I'm going to actually see if they're stacked out there. That's exactly how I want him to eat it. Cool looking dude. If you guys are wondering what I did, I've been trying to see if I can find him staged out there on that drop off. And I chucked it out there. I've worked all the way down on this drop off. I chucked it down there, let it hit the bottom, and I went to, to rip it up, and he already had it in his mouth. So he just ate this thing right on the fall. And uh, I've been covering a lot of water. I caught those two right off the bat and it's just been slow. But maybe we can find them out deep stacked up somewhere just like that. And uh, maybe catch, you know, two or three in the same little spot.
Dude, that's a giant. Has to be. I had to run. Oh, he ain't bad. That's probably a two and a half pounder. Dude, he creamed out. I think I figured out how to catch him. This is in the back of his throat. I had to run back because he hit it so hard. I just could not. He felt so large when they opened their mouth. I think, oh, jeez. Dude, this is insane. That's another football. Look how he ate it. The old quake, look at that. Look at it in his throat. This thing's freaking insane. I would have swore if I could have bet money on that, that was a big one. I think it's the way he had it eaten. Probably a pound and a half to a pound and three quarters to be safe. Gosh. Well, that's four fish. Two good ones, two small ones. We just really need that big one. Golly, we need that big one. So boys, this is actually the next day. We're coming back out to the same location because I'm kind of going to challenge myself today. So as I said yesterday, it was supposed to rain today. It ended up not. The pressure has shot up. We had a cold front come in last night. It's like 41 degrees right now. Pretty chilly out. And I got a couple weapons with me today that we're gonna try out. I don't know how the fishing is gonna be. Usually when a huge cold spike hits like this, and it hasn't been cold here in Savannah. So it went from being like 70 every day to straight 40. So with that being said, these fish are rattled. It's gonna be, it's gonna be tough, I already know. But I kinda wanna come out here, challenge myself, and show you guys that you know even in the toughest conditions, you can still come out here and catch fish. So I got a few combos with me today. I had to whip out the old spinning rod. I had to do it. I just had to do it. I'm gonna be putting a shaky head on this, which I'll show you the rig that I'm gonna be doing. And I still have the old six cents quake right here. And I'm gonna be chucking that around. I'm hoping we can get some bites on this. I just don't know with how tough it is. We're gonna do different retrieves with this to see if we can trigger the fish to bite. But needless to say, let's go ahead and tie on the shaky head on this rod. I'm gonna dig in my six cents bag right here, get all that stuff out, and uh, we'll be good to go. One eternity later. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That was a cast right there. Yep, he's got it. There he is, finally. Thank God. It's worth this walk. Oh, I can't tell how big he is. He's just about two pounds, if that. No, he ain't even that. He ain't even that. Mmm, let's go. That's so rewarding. That is what you call a rewarding catch. Just about a pound, probably a pound and a quarter. He's a thick body. Look at that, that cast that I threw is right on the edge of that. It just looked too good. And that was the only cast today I threw that I was like, man, that's just perfect. And sure enough, there was a fish there. A little stocky guy and that is an awesome catch out here in the toughest conditions that you can possibly fish in that is awesome thank you so much buddy there he goes god let's get back in there i know there might be another one in this corner there he is Boom. I worked it a total different way that I've actually never done before. Ooh, that would have been very bad. Buddy, don't, just let me, come on, just let me release you. You're not big anyways, little fat one pounder. Look at that, they're so chunky. You guys have been eating on something. That's what I was hoping to get on right here. It's kind of another quick bite like I did yesterday, but I just didn't know if it was gonna happen. What I'm doing is I'm beaming it out there. And then I'm putting my my body to my side and just kind of ripping it sideways like this. That's how I got that one to bite. Crazy thing about that one is he wasn't on the drop off. He was on more of the hump. Gosh, hammered it. Oh man, you choked it too. That was pretty crazy. Right next to that brush pile right there that I broke off on earlier. Not a big one, but he hammered that. Gosh, I've just been standing next to this tree. I haven't made a cast next to it with the trap and gobbled it on up. Between this and the clout this fall, I am just so impressed. That just kills it, kills it. All right, we're getting on to some. We've caught three now. We've caught two on a trap, one on a shaky head. It ain't much, but to know that these are some of the most toughest conditions that you can fish in, and we're working around it and we're still catching fish and 
one thing to note, like I said, this lake is just very hard to get bites. You know, you usually only catch a couple when you come out here. So I am uh, more than happy with what we got so far. Yeah. Now I'm done with all you said, all you